stupid sunbeam, stupid you limo kid. One of those water weenies on your head. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Those little cheap, yeah. cheap toys you'd see in the dollar store. Little water weenie. It glows in the dark. Turn me around, magical headworm. <laughs> So you gotta like go up the ladder, and somehow, I'm assuming, ooh, and somehow I'll float up to the top or something. And then you just kind of hang out. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh, now he's going down. Or is that you? Cause see, look, there's a thing coming up that I'm gonna be able to jump on. Oh, uh, don't hit the spikes. The spikes, Woody. Oh. Oh, I forgot I was going to automatically go. Yep. Damn it. You should have uh, waited. Can you control your up and down movement? Yeah, I can go up and down the ladder. That's good. And I can control the speed at which I run left and right. But I cannot control the fact that I move left and right. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's actually a pretty nice little touch that they did there. Have something that controls you, and you have to figure out when to time your jumps. Mm. No? I mean, because I guess my thing is, this isn't really any different than just doing this with full control. It's just a slightly different puzzle, because I can't go left and right. Like, I would have to do all of these same steps if I had full control. This just adds another dimension to it, and it doesn't really make it That's any... like timing your jumps. Well, it doesn't really make it any more different, because I'm, I'm controlling how fast I go. Oh. So... Like, if I just let it idle, I just walk slowly forward. So I would say, so me if he mechanically, was like, it's if not If he was really... running, would that make it more difficult because you don't have as much reaction time? Or... Well, no, it's... I'm, like, the idea in general doesn't really make it, like, more difficult or all that more complex. It's just taking away control. <laughs> Assuming direct control. Shepard. It's a pipe. Yeah, it is a pipe. The pipe is leaking. The pipe is leaking. Ah, oh, made it. <laughs> I realize that's a reference to a Don Hertzfeld thing that like no one else has seen. But, like I haven't seen. You it. will know. You've actually have seen it. Have I? In Eugene, when yeah, when you came to the Don Hertzfeld thing in Eugene, because it's one of the, it's one of the non-rejected. <laughs> You're funny so things. dead. I don't remember that. Though. Remember about the crazy guy? Yeah, like the full length little. Yeah. Or, yeah, I don't remember that scene. The path is leaking. It was in there. Okay. I believe you. <laughs> it was one of the more memorable weird parts to it. I thought, at least. Apparently, you don't. It was really weird meeting him. <laughs> it's like. Was he like you thought he was going to be? You're real. He was <laughs> a lot less flashy than I thought he'd be. Oops. Whoop. See, there's a, totally couldn't grab anything on the way down. A child made of lead. This ain't no assassin's Okay, creed. I have to say, a child made of lead, that's a freaking indie game title. I could make, easily make a game, a child, a child made of lead. You could call this a child made of lead, and it would be just as appropriate. <laughs> Except for when you get your head ripped off and stuff squirts out. Well, no, just because it's like a generic, like, name. Okay. A child made of lead. Hoat. Out for the Hoat. Hotel. Okay, so I guess I need to go in the H. So first you were in the woods, now you, and then you did industrial, and now you're in, like, residential. <laughs> now I'm in a hotel. You're, like, in commercial. Do -do -do. There's no lights there. Look out. Oh. Has the letter up. Is the E gonna go away? Nope. No, it's the rope under the T. Puts the rope under the T. It's a T rope. Oh man! Actually, it's it's like I did it right, but I psyched myself out while I was in the middle of the jump. Oh, okay, that worked too. Uh -uh. <laughs> I may have broken both my shins, but it worked. No way. You gotta love big boxes with lightning bolts on the side. <laughs> yeah. Going up this front thing again. <laughs> Sister better be friggin' worth this. Grateful. You know what I'd like to see a mod of this? 
What? I would like to see this modded so that the kid is Arthur from Arthur the Cartoon, and the sister <laughs> like from, is D.W. Like from the PBS show? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would like to see PBS, like, post that on their website. As the and it's an official Arthur game release. <gasps> it's never gonna happen. Oh, cool, the greenhouse. You see all the broken glass and stuff. Uh oh. Guessing I need to break that somehow. With your ladder with, cart? With, no, with me, probably. <laughs> it's your ladder cart, Woody. I'm surprised you didn't just get squished. Break a lung. Is this a thing? Can I grab onto this? What are you doing? Okay, I don't know. What do, what do you think okay. I need to do with okay, the Okay, start it up here where the ledge starts, and that'll give you momentum. Climb up the ladder while it's going down. Yep. Brilliant! <laughs> oh, well, your well, timing you was a little off. <laughs> Maybe back it up more and give it a push. Or you just... Fantastic. Whoa. Descend into, da, 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 into da, the da, da. depths of the hotel, apparently. <laughs> See, I like games like this and like this, and it's gonna be word comparison and like uncharted. <laughs> <laughs> But, oh, really? Fine. Oh, it's gonna walk me into that to die? Probably. But, um, I kind of also dislike it when it's stuff like this where there's no way but one way to go. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> and the one way to go is usually, like, through a bunch of, like, stupid stuff that's placed perfectly so you can get through it. So you just like push if this one ledge, there you go. Like if this one ledge wasn't perfect, then you couldn't get through the castle. So I'm gonna get to here, and then I'm gonna turn around. You're gonna hit some light, and you're gonna turn with around. With my warm brain, and then I'm gonna have to run back all through this way. Then you're gonna step on a nail, and die of tetanus. <laughs> It'll be a slow death. Oh no! <laughs> ah. Yes, keep going. <laughs> sure, my brain is being controlled by a horny little caterpillar. But I can still jump at will. These would be, like, the wound this would be causing would be awful. Uh-huh. Just a giant, like, worm bore into your brain. Do, 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 do. I really don't know why it's controlling me. That would never happen. This insect took over my brain, but I could still... Well, no, I don't know why it's controlling me. Okay, but, like, I'm just saying, if something was... A... This looks like a saw. ...to take over. It's like, oh, I could still jump. <laughs> I just couldn't control anything else. The insect would control which direction I can move in. Yeah. It wouldn't control how fast I move. It wouldn't control my ability to jump. Of course, to be fair, the ability to jump really does not come into in too handy during like day to day life. I don't know. Like, when is the last time you made an important leap? An important leap? Yeah. Well, like, are we talking full fledged jumping, like both feet off the ground, or just kind of like moving kind of fast, like you lost your footing and then you like, just lost? Well, an important leap, like you thought to yourself, <laughs> "Oh, <laughs> yeah, he died. He did. He really did." <laughs> 